new Sony A7C. The Sony A7C is the world's smallest and lightest full frame camera. So just the body of this weighs 1.1 pounds or 509 grams, if you're curious. It comes in all black or this silver. I got the silver. I thought it looked kind of cool. It looks a little bit retro. I just like the look that it gave it. The all black is also really nice though too. So right out of the box, what you get is obviously the camera. You also get the cord for charging and transferring. You get a nice little neck strap. I probably won't be using that because I do have a really nice Peak Design one, but nice if you didn't already have one. Uh, and then you also get the cube to charge with the cord, and you get the new Z series battery, which I'm actually really excited about this. My old camera did not have this. I had the Sony A6500, and it came with the older batteries, the smaller one. This one has double the life, so I can shoot for longer, and I'm super excited about that. What's also really nice is that my boyfriend has the Sony A7S III, and that one also takes the Z series battery. So I don't have to go and buy more because we already have backups, and we can swap them, which is awesome. You can shoot up to 120 frames per second in 1080 to get some really nice slow motion shots of this one. It has approximately 24.2 megapixels. The part that I am the most excited for, and honestly, one of the main reasons I bought this camera was because of the flip out screen. I am so, so excited to finally have a flip out screen. You have no idea. I've shown in a couple of my older videos how I used to do it. I used to connect my camera to my iPad and use it as a monitor, which honestly worked, but it was a hassle and it was also really laggy. So half the time I would like have to wait a minute for me to like literally move from here to here to make sure that I'm in frame. So it got really annoying and just having to have something else was annoying. So having that flip out screen is gonna be so nice. So let's put the battery in and turn her on. So the battery doesn't have any charge, so we're not going to get very much time out of this. But like my old camera, the A6500, it does have the old menu style, which I personally like. I did watch a couple videos before this and a lot of people were actually not really loving the idea that it had the old menu. Um, there is a new menu that is on this camera that I'm filming with. I personally like this one better. I think it's a little bit easier to use and it might just be because of what I'm used to, but I'm happy to have the same menu. Something that's different about this one compared to my old camera is where the record button is. I like this so, so much better. It is just on the top instead of whereas before it was like a tiny little button. Why did I sound British when I said that? It was just a tiny little button on the side here that was actually kind of hard to push. So that is gonna be great. Something else different that I've noticed about this camera is that the SD card slot is in a different compartment than the battery. My old one, the battery, and the SD card were in the same slot. Most of the other qualities of this are pretty similar. A lot of the Sony cameras look kind of similar, but I'm just so happy to have that flip out screen. I can't tell you enough. It is an E-mount, which was basically Sony's way of being able to make more small and compact uh, mounts and lenses without having to compromise the quality, which is great. I like having a small compact camera. I actually was so back and forth between this camera and then the newer ZV-1 camera. I don't know if you've seen that one, but it was Sony's new camera that was basically designed for vlogging, which I thought was kind of cool, honestly, but but ultimately what made me sway my decision was that going from the Sony A6500 to the ZV-1 felt a little bit like a downgrade to me. Just going from like one where you can interchange the lenses to a point and shoot just didn't sound like, I didn't feel like that was a good idea for me to do. Although this one is a lot more pricey than that one is. I do think that it was worth the investment and I was also able to trade in my camera to help pay for this one. But yeah, I do think if you are looking for a camera that you don't really care too much about having different lenses or anything like that, you just want to point and shoot, you 
do maybe a lot of vlogs or things like that, the ZV-1 would be an awesome option. I just, I do feel like I do these sit-down videos fairly often. I like to have the quality and also when I am vlogging, I have the new iPhone, so it looks just as good. So for just the body, for the A7C, you're looking at about $17.99. If you do want the kit lens, it's gonna be a couple extra hundred. I didn't feel the need for the kit lens. I have lenses, so just if you are looking into it, that is gonna be the cost. I currently have on a 16 to 70 lens. I also have, I believe, a 30 millimeter. And um, like I said before, I probably will want to upgrade my lenses pretty soon sometime. I don't know, we'll see. If you happen to have any recommendations for me, I would love to hear. Please leave them in the comments below. I'm always looking into having something a little bit newer, better, and something that's gonna be able to take full advantage of this camera. So to leave you, I'm just gonna throw in some B-roll so you can get an idea of what this camera's looking like, quality-wise. But yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always, and I will see you next time. Bye! So this is the new camera, same lens, new camera. Sorry if you can hear the shower in the background, but I can see myself like RIP to me looking into the lens because I'm probably just gonna look at myself the whole time. But this is awesome. <laughs> I cannot vlog like this, it's so heavy. And this is, the quality looks pretty good. Something that I have noticed like really with testing out this camera in general is like how quick it is to like focus, which is awesome. Let me see if I can test it, ready? <laughs> Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I'm pretty impressed. Asked Austin to help me film some slow-mo footage and this is what he gave me lol.